Wagwan royalties, welcome to your queen's kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some kalaloo and salt fish with some fried dumplings. So follow back me and let's make some kalaloo and salt fish with fried dumplings. Okay, so I am using the tin kalaloo. So this is the one that I am going to be using. It's 540 milliliters. If you can get the fresh kalaloo, feel free to cut some up and use that. I also have some saltfish here. These are deboned saltfish and these are already boiled. So I boil them twice just to get rid of some of the salt. I have some vegetables here that I already prepared as well. I have one hot scotch bonnet. I have some bell peppers. I have orange, red and green, some fresh thyme one carrot that I already diced as well. I have two tomatoes, some um, onion. I have like two um, small onions. I have some garlic stem right here. I have one garlic stem. Here I have my green onions and one celery stick. So that's what I'll be using to fry up my saltfish and kalaloo. I'm also going to be using some garlic pepper so this is my garlic pepper powder. It's a mixture of garlic powder and black pepper with some herbs. You can only use some garlic pepper. If you have if you have the garlic pepper, use the garlic pepper. But if you don't, you can use black pepper and you can also mix the black pepper with the garlic salt or the onion powder. Over here I have my flour that I will be using. So here I have two cups of flour and I have quarter cup of cornmeal with one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. I have a cup of water here, warm water, not hot, just slightly warm that I'll be using to knead my flour. So the first thing we're gonna fry up our saltfish and our kalaloo, okay? So I have a pot on the stove right now heating up and I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. You can use any cooking oil of your choice or you can use a, a tablespoon of butter. I don't like too much oil in my kalaloo. So I'm just gonna use a, a tad of olive oil just to fry up my kalaloo and my saltfish. So let's go over to the stove. So here I have my pot on the stove with the olive oil and I'm just going to fry up my saltfish first. Yes, some people fry up their vegetable first, but this is my way of doing it. I like to get a little bit of crisp on the saltfish before I add my vegetables. So here I added the saltfish to the oil and I'm just going to allow this to saute for about two minutes before I add my vegetables. Okay, as I said before, I like when my saltfish have a little bit of crisp. This is just me. So I fried it up for about two minutes and I have some crisp on the saltfish. So I'm just going to add my vegetables now. Okay, so I added the vegetables and I tossed this around. Just gonna allow this to saute again for about two to three more minutes and then we're gonna add our kalaloo and our black pepper or our pepper powder, okay? So now I'm going to add my kalaloo and I washed my kalaloo. You wanna wash your kalaloo even though it's a canned kalaloo, wash it, please, I'm asking you. Put it into a strainer or a vegetable dish that have holes in it and wash your kalaloo. I can't stress this anymore, all right? Now we're going to add our garlic pepper powder and I'm just going in with about one teaspoon of my garlic pepper powder. You can also add a little bit of paprika, but I personally not gonna add the paprika. Just my garlic pepper powder will do. So I'm just gonna spin this up now and allow it to saute for about five to six minutes. Then we're gonna start on our dumplings. Our kalaloo is ready. See how lovely that is looking? Yes, looking lovely. Smelling so good, I can smell the pepper. Look at the pepper guys, I burst the pepper. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna turn this off now and we're gonna prepare our fried dumplings. Isn't this looking good? So we're gonna knead up our flour. Make sure you have nice clean hands. So we're just gonna mix the flour with the salt, the cornmeal, 
and our baking powder. Make sure you combine it properly. Just gonna make a little well in the middle and we're gonna start adding our water gradually. You can start mixing this with a spoon first, but I don't mind using my hands. Old tradition way, you know? Don't want to have a, a stiff dough. You want to have a nice soft dough. Keep back a little of the dry flour for when you're rolling it out if you need it, okay? So I have my Dutch pot on the stove with some oil and I have it warming up right now. It's on medium low. I'm going to crack it up a notch when I am done kneading my flour. So I'm going to put it on medium high. Make sure you're using a nice thick Dutch pot or a nice thick pot. If you don't have a Dutch pot, make sure that your pot is nice and thick to fry your dumplings. Or you might want to make sure that you're doing it on medium low if your pot is not thick enough. So as I'm saying, add your water gradually. You don't want to have a, a stiff dough. You want to have a nice soft dough for your fried dumplings. This is how your fried dumplings are going to come out nice and soft. As you can see, the dough is coming together nicely. So this is what the dough should look like. See, nice and soft. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start rolling these out. And remember, we need the dry flour to roll it out so it doesn't stick. I did not use, I used three quarter cup of the water. I still have some water left. So my fried dumplings are inspired by my father. I'm making papa fried dumpling today. So, this is how my papa makes his fried dumpling, and I'm telling you, these are the best. These are not the traditional small Johnny cakes like we had to make like this. No, I'm going to show you. Oh, my papa. So, you want a nice piece like this? See? Dough is soft and nice. Roll it out in your hands like this. I'm going to show you how to roll one of them. So, we're rolling it out like this. And you can also do it like this, like when you're making dumplings. Anyhow you make your dumpling, it doesn't matter, but I make my dumpling like this. So I roll it out in my hands like this, form a ball. When you have a nice ball like this, then I go flatten it, okay? So the reason why I need the, the, the dry floor, or you need a nice clean surface i'm going to dust my surface put down my flour and i'm going to roll this out with my rolling pin so i'm just going to roll this out like i'm making roti because we're making some nice flat dumplings so as i'm saying these are inspired from my dad yes papa dumpling are the best i don't have papa with me so i have to try and make some of papa dumplings on my own so we're just gonna roll them out and papa dumpling them always big and fat and nice papa you're dumpling them nice all right so when you reach to a good little size like this then we're gonna start fry them okay so nice little size like this yes papa dumpling we can make them a little smaller i'll make a few a little bit smaller than this but as me i tell you papa dumpling them always big and fat and nice all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna fry one so you can see how we're gonna do them and that's all we're gonna do all of them so here i have the oil on the stove in my dutch pot you want a good amount of oil and we're just gonna put our dumpling in just like so you want to move it from off the bottom of the pot because you don't want it to stick and burn. So let's take a look at time and ice it. 
so when you ice it as you can see it's floating now that's what you want so you're gonna allow this to get brown on both sides so we're gonna flip this over in about four minutes or less and you can just check if it up look see if you get the color that you want and then we're gonna make both sides nice and golden okay so let's check and see you can flip this over and you can also flip it over again see we still need a little bit more color on this side but you can flip this over two or three times until you get the desired color see i flipped it over again so that's the color that i am looking for so i'm allowing the other side to get the same color then i'm going to remove this put it on a piece of napkin just to get some of the oil out see how lovely that's looking yes that's our first dumpling looking lovely isn't it yes trust me these are the best dumpling you ever eat in your whole entire life my papa dumplings so i put another one in and allowing it to get the color just like this one so we're gonna do all of them like this then we're gonna share up some with our color and salt fish Mm -mm -mm. you know what's gonna be nice with this a piece of avocado and two fry plantain mm -hmm. see it there my done fry papa dumplings see how lovely they look i'm going to break into one of these and let you see how lovely these are but i feel like i'm gonna fry the plantain so i'm gonna fry some plantain and then we're gonna share this up break into some of the dumplings and let you see the inside if you have not tried papa dumpling yet, you're missing out. You better try my papa dumplings because they are the best. The same oil. I'll fry the dumpling in. I'm just frying my plantains. So I'll just cut them up and put them in the oil. Okay, my wonderful people. So I've served some up with some avocado and some plantain. So I fried the plantain after all, yes. So this is it. Want a papa fry dumpling you want? If you want to have two, no worries. So papa fry dumpling, my saltfish and callaloo, avocado and some plantain. What more can you ask for? If you like this recipe, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Thumbs up this video. Share this video. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Let's break into one of the dumplings as promised. Okay, look at this. Papa dumpling. Look at that. You can just open this, put the color low down in there, so lock it up back and eat this. You see what I'm saying, guys? Yes, look at that. Nice and lovely. As I was saying, you can stuff one of the dumplings. So I've stuffed one there to show you. Yes so if you like this recipe remember let me know thumbs up the video until next time god bless you